So this will be uh, for a test scrape. It's pretty easy test scrape. So again, uh, you'll be taking this home. It's a it's a project, so it'll be a test scrape. So guys, when it's a project, the policy says that you are not allowed to retest. So you have to try your best. You're gonna get a loose leaf paper and change all those fractions to what? Decimals. How do you change them? Uh, Cut them out. Divide. So once you change it, like the first one, one fourth, you're gonna change it to a decimal. You'll be switching it then over, and then depending on what you get, right? Whatever color, whatever you get as an answer, that's what you color that one. Okay. I recommend that as you um as you solve it, you go color. As you solve it, go color. Now we always have the problem that some kids will say, "Well, I don't have that cutter." Yeah. You, you throw not to the answer. <laughs> this guy, you scratch it off, and you write the cutter you use. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. So how do you get the word right? So red. I think most of you should have red. Most of you should have yellow. Most of you should have brown, blue, dark green, and light green is where I worry. Because some of you just have green. So one of those you can change it to, I don't know, whatever color you want, purple. Now, if you don't have cutters, you can borrow some cut, uh, cutter pencils from me and then you should bring them back the next day. Question? Yeah. What's the question? No, sir. Now, this has to be done on a loose leaf paper. So right now what we're going to do, we're going to number them. So like that you know which is which, like problem wise, okay? Yes? So we're gonna number them. This guy will be number one, the sun. The tip of the house will be number two. The sky, which is the two halves, you don't have to do both of them. Once you do one, you're doing both. That will be number three. So these two are the same thing. You don't have to do both. Okay? This is the first time I try this by teaching like this. Never done. But I think it's going to work out pretty good. So again, the sun is one, the tip of the school is two, three is the sky, which there's two of them, but it's the same fraction. Okay, we're okay so far? Yes. The back, this tree over here is going to be four. The heart, I mean, not the heart, the bell. The bell will be five. The heart will be six. The sun is one. The tip of the school is two. The sky is three. The first tree over here in the background is four. The bell will be five. The heart is six. The welcome sign will be seven. The welcome sign will be seven. The school, the whole building will be eight. The left door is nine. The bush over here in the background is ten. The grass here by the flowers will be eleven. The sidewalk to enter the school would be 12. The apple tree, the tree itself will be 13. The apples 
All the apples, okay? The apples will be 14. The trunk of the tree. Aquí está. That will be, ¿dónde me quedé? 15? 15. The birdie. Uh, I mean, the, the bush be, be, behind the birdie. That will be 16. The fence pole, that'll be 70. And the other side of the grass, that'll be 80. Did I forget any of them? Check for me, please. Now this guy, yes, I, I didn't put a number because it's the same one. Once you figure out this one, you can figure out this other side of the background of the picture. So it's your project for the six weeks. Really simple. Uh, I'm gonna do one of them. So which one would you want me to do of all of them? Choose the one that you think will be the hardest one. They're like, oh, that one we're gonna have a hard time. Okay, this is not very key. No. Have your way. <laughs> the grass. The grass. I think so. This one. The left side. The left side. Okay, that's a good one to choose. The other one you could have chosen is uh, six. That's also a good one. So who do you want? I mean, two or 11? 11. I'll do both. How about that? So on a paper, this will be on the video. You have to do it on a loose leaf paper, not on a journal. So why? Because I'm going to collect both of them so I can display for open house, I'm going to display, that's why it says welcome to 6th grade math, I'm going to display the work plus the nice coloring. Hopefully it's nice it's coloring. It's your birthday. Why not check? Oh, you have class pen. You can grow class and then you can learn. Who needs a loose leaf paper? No, 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 I, I, I forgot to give you one? Okay, sorry. Okay, take it here. Come on. Okay. I'm doing number two, right, you said? Number two is 11. So here we go, number two. We have six over 15. Now this means six divided by 15, right? So I'm going to go. Who goes inside? Six. Divided by 15. Since we're going to decimal, I'm going to quickly place the decimal, decimal. And we begin. Now, some of you are having trouble with uh, dividing. What you can do to help you out is you can create a place value chart here. It's just going up like this. And that might help you know, okay, right now I'm in this place value. Is six enough for fifteen? Six right now. Is six enough for fifteen? No. no. Now let's do another place value section right there, right? So we know that where we're at. Now what do I do here on the bottom? At a zero. So is sixty enough for fifteen? Yes. Yes. So I'm gonna go to the side. Whenever you are ready to calculate, you're gonna go to the side and kind of like take a guess. This is called guess and check. What do you wanna try? Thanks. Oh no, the thin, thin one, the thin Mac laptop. The one where it has a small, the it's a small circle, but it's small. Yeah. Three. Okay, let's try three. She wants to try three, so we try three, and then twenty-five. I think it's kind of low, no? So who should we try? Four. Who's the one? Four. 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 So you see this place value system right here? Okay. Four. Four. 
So I know that the answer is 0 0.4. Now to practice, let's switch that to percent also. Just to practice. How do I switch to percent? One, two. What will be the percent? 40 percent. 40 percent. So the decimal is 0 0.4. The percent is 40 percent. So you're going to go to your paper and check in the back. And 0 0.4 should be what color? Brown. Brown. So what you can do also, you can come to the, your work. This might help you. And put brown there so you can know that at the end what you're going to cut are that number two, that's tip of the school. Okay? Questions? No. Now, when I display this for an open house, I'm going to put both papers. Make sure you write your name and your name on both. I'm going to staple them like this so they can see all your work. Once you're done, of course, we do our little bubble. We're done with number two, and then you also told me to do number which one? Eleven? Eleven. Let's see. Five or twenty-five, right? Who goes inside? Five. Five divided by twenty-five. Quickly put your decimal. And if you want, if you like this strategy of the little Place that thing so you can go in order. Some of you go out crooked and then that's why you mess up. I recommend you don't have to go all the way to the bottom, just go up, up, make links. Five, is that enough? No. Make a lane first before you put anything. You make your place value you link first. Now, what can I put here? Zero. Is 50 enough? No. Yes. Yes. Times what do you think? Two. Two? Let's try it. You see, you always go try on the side, especially if it's a two-digit number. Don't be doing mental math. Two times five? Ten. Ten. Two times two? Four. Plus one? Perfect. So what goes here? Two. Do I need to make another lane? No, because there's no remainder anymore. We keep on making lanes, place value chart lanes there. When there's remainder, keep on adding zero. But if there's no remainder, you stop there. So my decimal is 0 0.2. Oh, so if that wants us to practice also how to put it in what? Percent. So let's go over here to the side. And how do I change it to percent? Twice to the right. 1, 2. So it would be 20%. That would be the other answer. Now let me go to my coloring so I can know how I'm going to color this guy. And this guy I'm going to color it what? Yellow. Light green. So right here we're gonna put here light green. Now remember, if I don't have light green, I can switch it to whatever color I want. Yeah, someone. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Questions? No. If I don't have light green, you decide what color. But just make sure that you. You scratch off the color and say what color you're going to be using. Let's say you're going to use, like I don't see an orange there. That, that could be used. A purple. It might look kind of weird, especially if it's like maybe grass or something. But who cares? Maybe you like to cut your grass purple. That's fine with me. Purple. Okay. Purple. Maybe, uh, maybe you remember when you were uh, in uh, a baby, like they would say to you, I love you, you love me, and a barn. Okay. No. Questions? Okay, that's for homework. Okay. Any questions? No. Now, if you're a calculator student, remember that you can just punch in and get the decimal quickly, and then the only really work that you have to do is the twice to the what? Right. Right. Don't forget that when we go twice to the right and do the empty space, we have to add a zero. <laughs> Okay, I'm going. Okay, this. Okay, this week you'll also be taking your uh, CP one six weeks test. 
That one it does not have a retest by Friday. So you don't be missing school this week. By Wednesday, I'm really gonna like really go faster. But by Friday, I'm gonna remind you, you're gonna go to um to Itazo, E T A Z O. And you're gonna put student online. So all I did, listen, because I'm I'm also putting on the on the on the recording for today, but all I did is I opened up a tab, right? And we're gonna go to Itazo. E T A Z O, and you're gonna once you get to this, you click to student online, and you're gonna put the code that I'm gonna give you. Then the I uh, know that one is not there. It's gonna be zero 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 six seven. Remember that from elementary. Right now we're not gonna we're not gonna right now you can practice with me yes, but we're going to log out. We're not gonna do it right now. I'm just reminding you. Hold on. Then the code would be this guy. So punch it in, 5F, 57DAF. And then your ID, I'm going to use Judith. Give me your ID. 180-17-40. Once you log in, make sure it's under student online. If you are, uh, it'll tell you there to check your uh, stuff. Don't worry about the code right now. Don't worry. Just listen. You're going to say, uh, continue. I heard the voice. Oh, you have to actually click on it. This text is being read aloud. I heard the voice. Continue. Could you just keep skipping? So this is uh, an example of question one. And uh, as we go along, I will help you because some of the questions you might not know how to do because you're from elementary going to middle school and they might have not trained you so I will go over some of the things to do like this is a drag and drop uh, that's just a multiple choice multiple choice multiple choice multiple choice this is a multi check so I will go over all this later on uh, this you punch it in we've been practicing those and then multiple choice, multiple choice. It's only 15 questions, but we're going to begin on Wednesday. So if I give you, let's say that I give you um, on Sunday, the Cowboys threw, I mean, I'm just making it up because the Cowboys won again. Yeah. Okay, I don't know the Steelers won because this time I think they lost again. But I know that Texas lost again. But anyway, if I would tell you the Cowboys ran the ball four times, and one out of the four times they scored a touchdown, which of the following represents a percent of that? Okay, so here we go. Let me do my drawing. One out of what? Four. And they scored, right? Yes. That's what I said, so I'm going to put scored up. Copy this. I oh, no, don't copy this. No, no, no. Just listen. My bad. Hi, right now you're gonna, you're gonna do yours right now. Aww. My bad. Don't copy this. Just listen. One fourth. They scored yes, and they won eight percent. So they won a percent. Remember that I want you to tell me what they want. That we should have waited. Okay, but I already put. Here's what they gave me, what they want. Now, what's the strategy here? Oh, fraction to percent. Fraction to percent. But can we go straight from fraction to percent? No, fraction to decimal and then to percent. Good. So I'm going to get the fraction and I'm going to start doing the strategy. So what's the strategy for fraction to decimal? Bottom up. Here we go. One divided by four. Listen. Your decimal, your decimal, right? Mm -hmm. I run my place value chart in case I need to line up things. One, is that enough? No. Adding what? Two. Zero. Times what? Two. Now you're going to copy your kit. This one, boom, boom, you're punching in it, right? Zero point twenty-five. Okay, copy your kit, you have the answer already. Now, when you are in major, go back inside the house and draw another place value stretch this. See, so they like, can stay lined up, guys. Right? So some of you, that's the problem. You're not lining up the numbers, and that's why you're making mistakes. Why do I put this in this empty space? 
zero and drop off. Twenty is that enough? Times what? Five. And if you don't know your times tables, you write them all down here on the side. All of it. What's four times five? Twenty. Do I need another place value there? No. So now I have my decimal is zero point twenty five. Now if they want a decimal, boom, you're done. But if they want eight percent, I'm not done. So I'm gonna go to the side. And what how, what's the strategy from decimal to percent? Twice to right. You see that one? Make them nice and big. One, two, put the arrow there, and put the percent. So what's the percent? Twenty-five percent. I want to remind you that if, if I had the answer of zero point eight, let's pretend, and I change the percent, one, two, what do I really need there? Zero. Don't forget that one, two means, that's why I make them nice and white. Questions? No. So the final answer will be 25% for this problem. This is just an example to remind you that if there's an empty space, you need to fill it up with a what? Zero. Zero. Questions? No. Now it's your turn to do the first question. Okay? That's the first question. So let me pause this.